guys, welcome back to The Blonde Avenue. For those who don't know me, my name is Margarita, and for those who do, welcome to my favorites of fashion in 2016. I thought I'd put together a little goodbye video for 2016 fashion, things I really, really loved wearing. I'm sure you know what most of them are, but I thought I'd put it together anyway. I'm gonna try and speed through these to not take up too much of your time. Without further ado, let's get going. Let's start with jewelry, why not? Um, I've been wearing this YSL ring for, there it is. I've been wearing this YSL ring for the whole year. I think it's architecturally beautiful. I think it elongates the hand. I think it adds a little bit of magic to your outfit. It's somewhere between mystical and masculine and I really love the look of this YSL ring. Secondly, I loved these tribal Dior earrings. I'm sure you've seen them on me many, many times. I've been obsessed with how elegant yet modern they are. They are somewhere between an elegant lady and a really, really modern person. So I really love to wear them all the time. I love the gold hardware, so they are perfect for me. The third and slightly edgier piece of jewelry I loved is the return of the Diamante Choker. I mean, how fabulous can that be? It reminds me of the 70s disco era, Studio 54. I would wear these Diamantes everywhere if I could, so I've really loved, loved, loved this trend. The natural progression after jewelry has to be sunglasses and my favorites for 2016 have been these Versace sunglasses with the Medusa heads on the side. I think these are really dark and beautiful. Um, they lend to a lot of dark clothes and dark outfits which I love to wear regardless of the fact that I live in a warm climate but hey, I choose what I wear, right? I've loved these um, gorgeous Versace sunglasses. In fact, I love all of them. All of the ranges that they produce, I love. The next accessory that's been a massive love for me is the Hermes belt. I have two of the actual leather comp components of the belt. On this side, it's black. On this side, it's taupe and it's reversible. And on the other belt I have, I believe it's teal and the other side is a gray so i have four options when it comes to belts and i love this gorgeous belt which is kind of studded and hardware in the middle and the silver is very very beautiful i love hermes belts because i love hermes and this has come in handy whether i'm going out looking dressed up or whether i'm trying to dress down with a pair of jeans i've loved this belt so much 2016 has been the year of my Chanel's. So 2016 has been the year that both of these came into my life. This one by my mum on Christmas and this one me and my husband decided to get for me uh, for all the occasions of the year, which is my birthday, Valentine's Day, our wedding anniversary and Christmas, which I am totally happy with that arrangement, as you guys know. I'm patting it like it's my child, they're there. So this is the year of Chanel for me, 2016, and I love both of this. these. This is a great everyday casual bag, although it's a little small, but we can deal with that. It makes you minimize your life, and this one is a perfect winter bag. It's large and it's great for work, so I've loved these two so much. Guys, I'm gonna go into shoes and clothing now. For those of you who've been enjoying this video, please consider subscribing. Also, let me know in the comments below by seeing if we can get this video to 100 likes. If you like my fashion videos and my styling videos, if I know that you like the fashion styling videos, then I'll do more of those as opposed to beauty and lifestyle. So please, if we can get this to 100 thumbs up, then I'll know that that's what you guys like. Or leave a comment, either way. My favorite shoe of 2016 have been these Manolo Blahnik boots. Um, they have a beautiful woven detail on the front and a mesh in between. I've loved wearing them basically all the time while the weather could afford me to wear, wear them. I think they're perfect. They're suede and black and gorgeous. I've loved these boots to death and they will continue making an appearance in 2017, you best believe. There has been four key fashion pieces that I've really, really loved clothing-wise. I love to buy expensive accessories, but then a lot of my clothing is high street because otherwise, you know, we're accessing a different tier of money if all your clothes are designer and all your um, items are designer. I just like to, you know, invest in quality designer accessories and then sometimes buy some quality designer clothing too. But as you know, clothing goes in and out of style, so it's quite difficult. Anyway, the four key pieces I've loved this uh, 2016 is the rock and roll t-shirt. 
I was a rock chick, rock kid, whatever it is, um, when I was growing up. They're very nostalgic for me and I like how cool they look. And I love them even in a formal scenario with a great pencil skirt. I think they look so cool. The second piece I've loved are these shorts by One Teaspoon. Um, I love these kind of frayed, um, grungy looking denims. I think they look so cool on with the Hermes belt and a white shirt. I think they're so stylish and I've been loving them in 2016. The other two and final pieces of clothing that I've been loving is this jacket by Ralph Lauren with these tie sides. I think you guys have seen me in it many, many times. It's gorgeous, it's structured, and it has a really cute back. It tapers in and it's absolutely stunning. I love this jacket so much and it will not leave my side for many, many years. Final trend that I loved in 2016 is the oversized denim. Look how massive this thing is. It's got embroidery on the back, pictures, drawings. It's very grungy, very slouchy, and I've adored that big denim jacket over an evening dress or over a shirt over a t-shirt. I just love these big denim jackets. Thanks for watching this guys. I hope you enjoyed that summary of my 2016 loves and styling and happy new year. This is the first week of 2017. Let's move into the rest of the year with positive minds, create that beautiful life that we want. And I'm so excited to take you on this journey with me as I try and grow my business, my blog, my lifestyle, my marriage, my everything. So guys, I'll speak to you soon and see you next Wednesday. Ciao.